Hi, this is Doug with IdahoMMA.com. I'm here with Vince Morales with Rick Reina's MMA Gym in Ontario, Oregon. Currently, we're at Fit for Life Gym. Thanks for your time, Vince. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming. So now, let's uh, pick up where we left off last time. You had a fight at the Powerhouse Events Center, an MMA fight, and that was your first cage fight. And you won that. You finished uh, Tom Wynn in the third round with an arm bar. How, uh, what's been going on since? Uh, basically, day in, day out, focusing on improvement. Whether everywhere. I noticed a few holes in the game, my game, where it was could have been submission, stand-up, experience, whatever. We've been trying to get a little more comfortable in our areas. So just mainly focusing on that right now. Well, you know, you, you fought a guy in, in Tom who is pretty tough. And, uh, you know, as far as being your first fight, you know, I was pretty impressed. Since it, you, you did happen to finish him with a submission, after that event, what what have you started doing? You got into boxing? Yeah, I've been doing a little bit of boxing. I just had a bout for the smoker auto auction in Boise. And that was, got to meet Roy Jones, which is real nice, one of my boxing idols. So that was cool. And I'm staying busy with boxing, actually, trying to get better with that. Well, now you're you're getting more and more diversified, and you're gonna you're gonna probably need that. You got a fight coming up uh, August 23rd at Rage in the Cage in Napa. So uh, you're you're gonna be fighting Matt Jones, who's experienced. I mean, I think he's got like six or seven fights, and you've got one MMA fight. How do you think that fight's gonna go down? Uh, I try not to make a whole lot of predictions because I'm not 100% it's a fight and anything can happen. Um, I know it's gonna be pretty quick pace from what I've seen of him. Right after me at Powerhouse and got a glimpse of what he has to offer. Um, seems to kick a lot, be a little gangly, kind of long, but should be exciting. Well, for sure. I, I'm thinking, you know, that, that could be fight of the night. Yeah. I mean, for sure. Like right? That. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, how's your training going right now? I mean, we're at Fit for Life, and so what do you do here? Uh, this is my boxing slash cardio area, anyways. I usually do hour and a half still boxing stuff just staying loose tomorrow I got jiu-jitsu um, I do my own running at the track I like to know exactly how much I'm doing treadmills don't do it for me but <laughs> so. so now you're going to be fighting at 145 and you've been training you know for this fight because you've known for I would imagine a couple weeks now yeah. uh, what, where's your weight at right now uh, a few pounds over nothing too big I think I'm right where I right the weight I was when I fought Tom, actually, just a couple pounds over 45. Generally, I walk around pretty close to that, so weight cut's not a huge thing for me. I don't like to do it. That's why yeah. <laughs> I'm not going down to 35 or anything like that. But. Well, you're not, you're not. I mean, you usually walk around what? At uh, what weight? 52-ish. I don't like to vary more than seven pounds from my fight weight. So. And that's pretty smart. Yeah. I mean, you know, I see a lot of guys, you know, cutting 20 pounds in a couple days. They balloon up. It's crazy to me. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, now, what are you doing as far as um, your training at uh, Rick Reynos? At Rick Reynos, we've been trying to fix a lot of the holes we noticed in my fight with Tom. Um, for instance, when I took him down, instead of keeping it standing after I'd hurt him a couple times, just showed an experience, I think, so we're trying to keep it where I need it to be, where I'd shine the best. So, really that. Uh, working a lot more kicks. I kind of abandoned that whole game plan when I uh, fought Tom. I don't know why, but I can expect a little something different this time. So, you know, okay, so you're, you're getting more well-rounded. I, I'm sure we, we talked about this before, but, you know, as far as, as, far as the sport of MMA, uh, where do you want to take it? Like I said last time, I think it's just as far as it'll take me, as far as it'll let me take me anyway. So I just want to really want to just be remembered, I guess you could say. Uh -huh. I don't know. And you're young. How old are you? 22. 22. A little older than I look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I can't wait to the fight. Like I said, I, I think it's, uh, it's going to be awesome. And that's going to be August 23rd at the Idaho Center, Rage in the Cage 7. Uh, we'll see you at the weigh-ins at Big Al's in Meridian on the 22nd. Is there any shout-outs you'd like to give? Uh, really all of my coaches. They all kind of got family and work and all kinds of stuff, and they still find a way to dedicate themselves to me so I can make improvements and perform how I need to perform. Big thanks to all them, Rick, Eddie, Steve-O, everybody, all my teammates, they kind of, even though
even when we can't, we run a little bit of practice on our own. They stick with me through the whole thing, and I appreciate it. My family too for the support. Matter of fact. Well, you got there. you got a lot of support. I mean, I, I I've seen uh, on the on the videos, you know, you get a lot of views on the pictures I post. So, you know, that, that, that's a credit to you and, and where you're going with the sport. And I wish you the best of luck and and uh, thank you again for your time and taking time out of your training. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Doug.